While performing the genome assembly, it is often a matter of confusion whether to go for de novo assembly or reference based assembly. Hello and welcome back to Bioinformatics series of Explore Bio with Dr. Abhishek. And in today's video, you will learn what a genome assembly is, two ways of assembling the genome that is the de novo and reference based, the difference between the two, and which one is more suitable for your study. So let's begin. Most of the times, the genomes are too huge to be sequenced in a single go. Therefore, the individual genome is first fragmented and then sequenced in the form of short reads. This is termed as shotgun sequencing. These short reads are aligned and merged together based on the overlapping regions to reconstruct the entire genome. Now there are two ways of assembling a genome. The de novo assembly reconstructs the entire genome by aligning and merging short reads together without relying on a reference sequence. As for most of the organisms, reference genome itself is not available. On the other hand, reference-based assembly uses an existing reference genome to guide the assembly process. In this, short reads are mapped to the genome sequence. Compared to the reference-based assembly, the de novo assembly requires higher sequencing depth and is computationally more demanding as the genome has to be reconstructed from the scratch. The de novo assembly aligns short read from the scratch and it may result in gaps and assembly errors. The reference based assembly is more accurate as short reads have to be aligned against known reference. But it may miss out some novel sequences which is possible through de novo assembly. And for performing the different assembly types you have specific tools. Here is the list of some of the most commonly used tools for various assemblies. Coming on to the most important question when to prefer de novo assembly and when to go for reference based. Generally, the de novo assembly is more suited when you lack a reference genome of that species or closely related organism. Use de novo assembly for novel species, complex genomes and non-model organisms. Prefer reference based assemblies when accuracy is more important for you, when a reference genome of that species is available or when variant determination is the major purpose. I hope this video has helped you to understand the basic difference between the de novo and reference based assemblies and which one to prefer for a specific research goals. If you find this video useful, I would highly recommend to check out my playlist for more such useful content. Till then, stay curious.